In the following video, I will show you how to answer question 7 of the January 2011 Core 4 paper. Um, and again, this is a question on the calculus of trigonometric functions. Okay, let's start straight away by taking a look at the question. The question says, evaluate the following integral. It says, show that the following integral is given by this. So I'm going to call this integral i. Okay, and looking at it, you've got uh, a function of x here, x squared plus 5x plus 7, multiplied by another function of x, which is sine x. I'm thinking to myself straight away, because I've got two functions that I'm trying to integrate that are multiplying to use what's called integration by parts. I, the integration by parts tells me that the integral of uv dash is uv minus the integral of u dash v. I've got to decide which one to be my u, the thing that's easily differentiable, which one to be my v dash, the thing that's easily integrable. This here is going to easily differentiate for me, so I'm going to call that u, I'm going to call that v. And let's go for it. I'm going to write down my u is x squared plus 5x plus 7. So my u dashed is 2x plus 5. I'm going to write my v dash to be sine x, and this easily integrates. Uh, the integral of sine x is minus cos x. Okay, and I've done that. Let's use the formula then. My integral is therefore um, uv, which I'm going to say is um, right, minus cos x, all multiplied by x squared plus 5x plus 7. And all of this evaluated between 0 and pi. And then I'm going to get minus the integral of u dash v. Well, u dash is 2x plus 5. So integral between 0 and pi of 2x plus 5 times by v, which is minus cos x. So I'm going to put the cos x here. I'm going to take the minus out, and that becomes a plus. Integrate with respect to x. OK, let's deal with this section here. Let's put in pi. Let's put in 0. If I put pi in here... I know that cos of pi is minus 1, so cos of mi uh, so co minus cos of pi is plus 1. So if I work this out here, I'd get 1 here, and I'd get pi squared plus 5 pi plus 7, so I'd get pi squared plus 5 pi plus 7. And if I put, z I get takeaway, if I put 0 in here, um, cos of 0 is 1, so this would be minus uh, 1 multiplied by uh, 7. So that's what I get by doing this here. And this here is something I'm going to have to go ahead and integrate. So for now, I'm just going to not integrate that just yet. I'm going to integrate between 0 and pi, uh, 2x plus 5, cos x with respect to x. OK, let's tidy this up fully. If I tidy that up, I get pi squared plus 5 pi plus 7. And then here I get a minus minus, which is plus another 7. So this turns into pi squared plus 5 pi plus 14. And the integral between 0 and pi of 2x plus 5 cos x with respect to x. OK, now looking at this, this isn't an easy uh, function to integrate directly as it is. It looks like a product of two different functions. So I'm going to have to integrate this using another integration by parts. Hence why this is a 7 mark question, quite a hard question. So let's define this again to be our u, this to be our v dash. So if u is 2x plus 5, u dash is simply 2. And if v dash is cos x, then v is simply sine x. So integrating by parts of this section here, I'm going to get... Uh, I'm going to keep my pi squared plus 5 pi plus 14. And then I'm going to get here plus uv, which is going to be 2x plus 5 times sine x. So I'm going to write sine x, 2x plus 5. And that integrated between 0 and pi. Subtract uh, u dash v. So that's going to be 2 times this. I'm going to take the 2 out. That's going to be integral between 0 and pi of sine x with respect to x. Now, if I try and work this thing out here, if I put in pi in here, I get 0. Put in 0, I get 0. So all this disappears. And I just have to integrate this. So I'm going to get the pi squared plus 5 pi plus 14 plus the integral of this. Actually, it's not a plus. It's a minus 2 lots of. So this is going to be 
minus 2 lots of the integral of sine x. The integral of sine x is minus cos x between 0 and pi. And we're nearly there. Just put in pi and put in 0. I would get pi squared plus 5 pi plus 14 minus 2. OK, if I put in pi, I get minus 1. So uh, if I put in pi to cos x, I get minus 1. So that's minus minus 1, which is plus 1. And if I put in, I'm taking away the answer when I put in 0. If I put in 0 here, I get minus 1 again. Right, we're nearly there. So I get pi squared plus 5 pi plus 14. And 1 minus minus 1 is 2. And minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. So I get minus 4 here. And tidying up, I get pi squared plus 5 pi plus 10 as required. Not particularly hard in theory, but le loads of places to go wrong, putting in limits, etc. So just be careful when doing this question. I hope you found the following useful um, in your revision for Core 4, and in particular your revision of the uh, calculus of trigonometric functions. Thank you for watching and listening.